Hey guys, I'm Hoshi, I just do interview the Dolapin Leg Blake Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man Mark 47. So this is the box right here. And as you can see, it's recommended for just uh, 6 and up. And this is uh, DLP9065. And you have a pretty nice box art with the Mark 47 suit. You have this Iron Man logo down here. This is the top, the side, the other side, the bottom. And finally the back it shows you the entire set and uh, it shows you that you can build a mech if you combine four of them so yeah that's pretty much it for the box so this is the instruction manual right here and as you can see uh, it shows you how to build the figure and also the side build and it also shows you how to build the mech which um, you have to combine four, uh, four of the figures to get the pieces for them and this is only part of the instructions but aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions so this is the figure itself right here and as you can see he does have uh, two studs and two cylinder pieces to show that he is uh, flying and you have uh, his helmet piece here with the gold uh, color which looks pretty nice you have the eyes and they look pretty nice as well um, and under there you can see you got Tony Stark's uh, face and if you remove it you can see the back uh, face print which is this angry alternate face so yeah um, the torso here you have the arc character right here you have these side blue parts uh, very similar to mark 46 and you have all of this uh, silver right here which looks really nice and you have the leg print with more of the silver print and you got a little bit of gold down here and this is the back torso print you have the top part and the bottom part with the silver parts and yeah looks pretty cool but aside from that that's pretty much it for the Iron Man Mark 47 so this is the side build I'm not really sure what this is um yeah it's a really weird creation but um it's mostly uh there just for uh the show and yeah so i guess the front here you have these uh cannons i guess that can shoot you have uh this bar piece right here and the back you have uh this hinge piece which you can kind of move around and you know turn this into this position yeah but Aside from that, uh, there's nothing too special about the side build. So, overall conclusion of this figure here, so how that even, well, uh, the figure itself here, he is great. Um, he looks very accurate to the official Lego version of him. And yeah, the eyes uh, is also pretty nice. Um, you know, unlike uh, Shingon one, because the Shingon one isn't that great. The white part is uh, just way too big, but yeah, I mean, uh, overall, I think the figure is great and the figure looks nice and the side build here, you know uh, If you want the mech, you might as well just get the full set and you get two mechs um, But yeah, I guess if you are getting uh, only one of them or two of them um, I guess you get some nice pieces, but yeah I mean if you are a big Iron Man fan I definitely recommend you getting the entire set since they have uh, some very nice figures and yeah, um, some of them, maybe uh, other brands haven't made before. I'm not really sure. But overall, I think this is great, and if you like it, you should definitely get it. And if you only want this figure from the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming set, the Beware the Vulture set, then yeah, I definitely recommend you getting the Dolapin version. Um, he looks pretty nice. So if you want to buy the set, I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.